Junior Guerra, he is sporting a 305 ERA. Now, two years ago, he was a star for the Brewers out of their rotation. It was a rough year for him. And he spots the one two, a strikeout for Junior Guerra to start his day. That split finger right there, I thought it was pretty good. And that is smoke to right field. Jorge Polanco with extra bases. And he will pull up to second base with a one out double. Welcome back, Jorge Polanco. His first hit since his return yesterday goes 0 for 4. So another 1 2. And that's golf to left center field. Long run for Keon Broxton, but he tracks it down. And the Twins leave the bases loaded. Junior Guerra with some control problems, but he escapes unscathed and will head to the Brewers' half. Jake Odorizzi is on the mound, coming off a very strong performance against the Chicago White Sox. He's gotten a lot better over the last couple of months. They get off to a very rough start. There's a high fastball right there from Odorizzi. And one thing to keep in mind this time of day, these 3 o'clock starts, you know, with Ed Miller Parker, the shadows can really create some issues in seeing spin out of the hand for the pitcher. I think everything's hurting the Twins lately. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Wow. My daughter and I, we found a new place. They had a bar in this place and everything called Majesty, and it's in McKinney, Texas. Bringing the glove down a little bit in his windup, and it's effective there. Tidy work and a strikeout of the yard. It's his third three in a row. 0 2 chasing is Junior Guerra. A go to guy that really changed the way you went about your business. What? And Junior Guerra. Pitch right there. Does, <laughs> does get Eduardo Escobar ultimately a little look back at the home plate umpire. But, but we see each other more away from Texas than we do actually in Texas. Runner on the move. It'll be a tight play at second. And they do call the out at second base. And here comes Paul Molitor, and, and that's not a reviewable call. You know, second base umpire Mark Ripiger saying he was he dropped it on the release. Let's have a look at it. That's an easy double play if he holds on to it. I don't know. Oh, that's not a drop. I, don't I mean, know. that's a drop. That's yeah. not a catch. I mean, he they're tried calling to... that on the transfer. Yeah, he missed that baseball. He never had it. Clank, clank, as we say. <laughs> clank, clank. Yeah. There's Joe West, the crew chief, safe at second base. Kepler's at second. Estudio at first reaches on the E6. 60th pitch of the inning or of the game from Junior Guerra is a strike. He locates on the inside corner and picks up his second strike out of the inning, his fifth of the game. That didn't do a bad job in, in his stead. Jonathan Villar down on strikes for a second time today. Junior Guerra and this 0 2 to Joe Maurer. He wave and a miss. And strike him out in the first inning was outstanding. And that's a good one right there. The bottom fell out of it. And Jorge Polanco in the fifth inning. You're seeing a different pitcher. And I think that adds to the difficulty. Junior Guerra. Top of your cardio and all that, but find every find a way every day to maybe mentally or physically get better at something. Eric Thames with a home run. Got a more Eric Thames going long. That was awesome. He muscles up for a two-run shot in his 12th of the season. That left in a hurry. And it's 2-2. Yeah. Two -two. Shipped to left field. And there's Rosario. You want contact? That's loud off the bat of Eric Thames. Almost 109 miles per hour. And Greg Suter said, look out. But he's been in the organization for a few years now, and a lot of his teammates have come and passed him up. Everybody thought that his best days were behind him. Rosario, hard hit ball to left field, but out there is Perez. And Shaw right into the glove of Eduardo Escobar for out number two. Strike three. Right, right on the edge on the outside corner. Defendant stay right here at Miller Park. And there is Corey Canabel with strike three. Well, he did call it. He didn't call it, but he did call it. <laughs> Where was the call from Marty Foster? 
See where it lands. In the strike zone. Corey Knable. Three strikeouts looking to close out the day. Game over. Brewers take it two to nothing, and they are the first team in the National League to 50 wins.